just have very basic structuring where they have folders and you can drop some assets into those folders, but that might not be very scalable. So the idea behind uh, the record structure is to give brands as much flexibility as they need to organize their assets. So a lot of asset libraries allow you to have a folder structure and you can just drop assets into that folder structure. And that's the, about the extent that they go to. But the Aprimo DAM really allows you to have that foldering structure, which we call classifications. And then inside of classifications, we have this concept called records. And a record can comprise of one to many assets, along with their asset versions, their metadata, and even additional supporting files that can be associated to those particular assets. Some of our customers take advantage of that, that very flexible structure and do have multiple assets per record. Other customers don't necessarily need that level of sophistication at this point in time, so they might just have a one-to-one -one relationship between assets and records, but the flexibility is there for you to take advantage of it. And where this really comes into play is when you talk about asset consumption. And when you have people coming into the dam to download assets and browse for assets or even downstream systems, that are integrated to the dam and need to get content out of it, a good flexible structure that allows people to find assets quickly and easily in a meaningful way to them is what's key about that record structure and making sure you have the ability to set things up in a meaningful way for your users. The customer experience gap can be caused by having multiple execution systems, say for example, a web content management system as well as a print execution system drawing content from two different asset libraries that might be specific to their channel or content type. In that case, what might happen is if those libraries are out of sync, uh, you'll have different messaging coming out on your web channel or your digital channel, or your email channel, than your print channel, and your customers getting bombarded by two different messages or two different marketing strategies, and that leads to the customer experience gap. The way that you tend to solve that is by having one centralized asset management system that can handle all types of content that you're executing on. So on the Aprimo platform, you can control asset creation all the way from ideation through getting it exposed to your downstream systems. Because our digital asset management platform has a high degree of integratability with downstream execution systems, you can ensure that as soon as an asset is produced and production ready and put into our asset management platform, it can be immediately used by all of your execution channels without having to copy it into multiple execution libraries and it's just ready and available immediately. So a really important part of marketing is making sure you can understand how your campaigns are actually performing, and even more importantly, be able to measure that against the spend on those campaigns so you can understand the ROI that you're actually receiving. By integrating a Primo with your downstream execution systems, you'll get the results from those execution systems that indicate how your campaigns and your content is performing, and be able to tie it with the spend that's controlled inside of a Primo, and allow you to even redistribute funds so you can optimize that spend and focus on the campaigns and content that are delivering you the greatest ROI. 